Hello world, Tinker Tom DIY here, and we're gonna get it kicked off with a introduction to a new project that we're gonna start uh, here today. And um, this project is gonna be a portable uh, mini power wall, uh, and this will be a 12 volt system that's intended to run on a 300 watt power supply or inverter. And um, the primary goal of this system is to being able to use it in the event of a power outage uh, and it's capable enough to run LED lamps, small fans, portable charger devices like for your cell phones or even laptops. Um, and really what this is, is it's a learning project. It is to uh, take the really massive power wall projects which are intended to power entire homes with renewable energy and shrink them down into a more beginner friendly scale which has a practical use so uh, while we go through the initial phases of this project it won't be using renewable energy um, a lot of the processes and build techniques and a lot of the maths and considerations that goes into uh, building a system of this smaller scale uh, will apply to the really big scale projects as well um, so for this project um, of course we want it to be portable uh, we want it to be self-contained where we don't want a bunch of wires strewn around everywhere. Uh, we want it to be fairly compact so you're not trying to, um, you know, lug around a gigantic um, brick more than necessary. Uh, and of course it's got to be sturdy because it's going to be portable. So we want to make sure that if it falls off or if it gets bumped around a little bit, um, that it'll take a little bit of abuse. Uh, now we will be using the uh, 18650 batteries uh, and 4x5 holders for packaging purposes. I felt like this was um, a good solution in itself because it provides a medium for uh, allowing a compact brick of sorts for the batteries itself but also because again this is intended to scale up to the larger massive power wall projects. Uh, this is the same format that those projects tend to use when they use the 18650 battery. So we're trying to keep as much similarity between um, this mini project uh, and of course, you know, things that scale up uh, over time. Now this project uh, will be using 60 batteries um, in a 3S 20 peak configuration. Um, so that's gonna be three series, 20 parallel. And what that's going to give us out of each um, battery that is a nominal 3.7 volts, you multiply that by three because there's three in series that's going to give you a nominal voltage of the system at 11.1 .1. now this is where the batteries will spend the majority of their time uh, while in use and you know actually providing power to things but once they're fully charged uh, they are actually slightly over 12 volts and I think low volt cutoff is somewhere around 10 volts uh, so we just call it nominal voltage at 11.1 .1 volts because that's where the batteries spend the majority uh, of their time at with that voltage when they're in use um, so because we're taking uh, a 20 parallel configuration uh, when I'm intending to use 2.2 amp hour or 2200 milliamp hour uh, batteries then there's 20 of them you can multiply that together and that's going to turn out to create a 44 amp hour battery pack um, and then so you can turn that into a total power up by taking your voltage multiplying that by your capacity which is 44 amp hours and we're going to have a total power output of 488 watt hours. Uh, now that's actually quite a bit of power uh, because you'll be able to um, run pretty modest loads like say it was a small fan with an LED lamp and a, and a cell phone charger. That will probably pull somewhere 80 to 100 amps total power uh, which means you'll be able to run this system for about five hours, maybe even as much as six hours, depending on how much load that fan pulls. If you left the fan out of the equation, and maybe it was uh, just LED lamps and your cell phone chargers, maybe it was just for a camping trip, this one battery pack would probably be able to run you uh, for three or four days on a camping trip um, just on this 488 watt hour. So it's definitely a respectable amount of power that you can get. Uh, of course, you have to be mindful, of course, how much load you're putting on this system to determine how long it will be able to, to last you for between needing a charge. Uh, but this is a pretty considerable amount. 
and the budget for this project is going to be about 150 bucks. Uh, I think conservatively, um, it'll probably come. You, you can definitely come in well under this price point, um, but with the way that I'm using this project and the the way that I'm sourcing my batteries, uh, I think 150 dollars is a good place to assume. And then you can find opportunities to to maybe uh, spend a little less money if, if you try to take on this kind of project on your own. Um, so this project uh, will be documented here, and I will try to do my best to um, document as much of the process of building and testing and some of the math that goes into figuring out what to use and how to lay it out. Um, we're going to look at you know of course you know where do we get batteries from. Uh, we're going to look at you know building out the, the battery packs with these cell holders. Uh, we're even going to do some 3D printing here. Uh, as you can see here, I've already got some uh, 3D printed standoffs that I've created uh, to help provide more support for these cell holders. And we'll look at more of that detail later on. Um, so we'll get a good chance to see a lot of 3D printing. We'll maybe even get a chance to look at some uh, the design process as I build an enclosure for, for this system. And um, Hopefully you guys have an opportunity to learn something about all this and of course this is also the whole YouTube series here uh, is also intended to be a learning project for me as well. So I'm actually knocking out two projects by starting a YouTube series and taking on a project like this. Um, so let's take a quick talk to, to talk about uh, you know sourcing some batteries here. Um, you know these are the 18650 cells and um, these purple cells here that are already loose um, I harvested these from a used Dell laptop uh, battery pack that uh, uh, was decommissioned uh, for whatever reason, and uh, so I tore it open, pulled out the cells, and you know I boogered up the the sleeve a little bit, but that's just fine. And um, when I did uh, the calculations for that battery pack, these cells probably originally started life as about a 2,000 milliamp hour battery pack. And when I used a uh, battery charger and D charger, which can measure measure the capacity, um, this battery cell, for instance, measured in at 18.22 milliamp hours. This one came in at 17.73 milliamp hours. So they've definitely lost a little bit of their original capacity. I had hoped um, that these cells, when I harvested them from that battery pack, would be closer to the ideal 22 milliamp hour 2200 milliamp hour battery packs or batteries that I was hoping so that um, I could take a few of these and add them to these battery packs which I'm going to tear apart and let loose the individual cells from um, now these cells are supposed to be uh, new cells and they're supposed to be 2200 milliamp hour battery cells and this pack was purchased off of eBay. Uh, I believe the uh, the YouTube channel Jehu Garcia uh, has some kind of business involvement with trying to move these because he's often promoting these in some of his latest videos here in June 2017. Um, actually almost July 2017. Time is flying. Uh, but I digress. Um, so but these battery packs um, when you buy these 10 at a time um, each of the individual cells comes down to be about a dollar twenty-five each, which is a pretty darn good price if they perform as well as they should, meaning they have the capacity that they should have. Um, and then, of course, if they're still pretty new, then that's great because, yes, you can go harvest uh, cells from laptop batteries, used laptop batteries like this, and um, either get them free or get them for you know just a few pennies on the dollar. And this is where you would have opportunities. To bring down that budget from 150 bucks, but the 150 dollar 150 dollar budget was primarily based upon the calculations of using these cells. Um, now this battery pack is uh, 36 volts, and I believe it's also uh, 44 amp hour. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's got 20 cells um, wrapped inside of this pack. And the 36 volts that this pack is already putting out um, is a little high. Um, when you try to go get components that can support that much voltage, uh, it's hard to build a small capacity system like a 300 watt system um, trying to push that much uh, voltage. Just because this much voltage in DC, direct current, 
um, is intended to be used on higher wattage AC inverters. So um, we're definitely going to be taking these, tearing them apart, and uh, recompiling these packs uh, into 12 volt packs so that um, it's a more reasonable voltage for the power application that we're looking to do here. Uh, so this is where I'm going to be primarily sourcing my batteries from and the blue cells here in the back are the same thing uh, For some reason just I got four of them that were wrapped in blue wrapping like this and uh, the others came like this um, This project uh, is actually uh, an intermediate project for me because What I'm planning to do with this project is again It's a learning opportunity for me to figure things out and figuring out how everything works together well is that I want to take more of these cells in fact I'm going to be taking 360 of these cells and I'm going to be creating a 24 volt 2000 watt portable uh, battery bank uh, or power wall and uh, that is intended to be able to run a lot more load uh, be able to carry it into remote places and use power tools as necessary and so once we get through this project uh, I will be preparing to start that project and so keep an eye out for that project in the future um, as this series progresses and we'll get a chance to, to maybe talk about that a little bit more because again this is a learning project for me just as, as I hope it is a learning project for you um, so with that uh, we'll go ahead and wrap up our introduction video here to the project uh, in the next video we're probably going to take a look at uh, a closer look at some of these cells um, and we're going to look into the process of harvesting cells from a new laptop battery that I grabbed off Amazon uh, that was cost effective uh, so we'll look at that and look at that process and look at how well those battery cells perform and then um, we may start digging into these 36 volt packs that I got off of eBay uh, or that may be waited for uh, another video down the line so with that, do make sure that you subscribe to the channel, uh, like this video, and comment down below with encouragement or questions, and I will do my best to respond to you guys. Uh, I really do want this to be an engaging process for everybody to learn, and I hope that you're inspired to take on a project like this of your own. So with that, I'll see you in the next video.